Hello everyone, and welcome to this video series on wireless MBUS. My name is Peter Martin Evian, I'm the Managing Director of Radiocrafts. Radiocrafts is a provider of compact radio modules for radio communication for smart meters and wireless sensor networks. And in order to help our clients to find the right solution and getting fast to market, we have made this series of short videos on wireless and bus. In this first video, I will present the different wireless and bus modes. Wireless MBUS is an international standard, the EN13757-4, 2013 is the current issue, uh, but there is also a 2018 version in the making. It's the only wireless standard and European norm that is specially developed for meter reading, and in particular for battery-operated meters. It operates in the license-free bands at 169 MHz, 433 and 868 MHz. So, uh, the different modes of wireless MBUS are about the different physical layers, so frequencies, modulation, coding and data rate. At 868 MHz we have the S mode, 32 kilochips per second, and with Manchester coding that gives us 16 kilobits per second. So the S mode is the stationary mode. The T mode uses 100 kilochips per second, and uh, with the 306 coding that gives us 67 kilobits per second. The T mode is made for frequent transmissions. Then we have the C mode, the compact mode, using 100 kilochips per second and with NRC coding that also gives us 100 kilobits per second and is the highest data rate in the 868 MHz band. There are two different frames formats, frame format A and frame format B where the B is made more compact, so less overhead. And because the mode C and the mode T use the same frequency and the same chip rate, they can also be received in parallel by the same receiver as implemented in the RC1180 MBUS 3 module. And lastly, we have the R2 mode using 4.8 kilobits per second but it's quite rarely used, so maybe it's R mode for rarely. In the 433 MHz band we have the F mode operating at 2.4 kilobits second. It also quite rarely used and the F mode was introduced as a proposal from France. Then at 169 MHz we have the N mode the N mode currently offers six channels. Uh, this will be extended in the 2018 version. Uh, it uh, uses the NRC coding at 2.4 kilobits per second and also 4.8, 6.4 and 19.2 kilobits per second. And the N mode is the narrowband mode operating on 12.5 kilohertz uh, channels. In addition to this, the S mode and the T mode has also been defined at 433 MHz, 865 MHz and 868 MHz for use outside Europe as defined by the OMS, the Open Metering Standard. And also there are some proprietary solutions uh, made for 915 and 921 MHz as variants of the C mode. So now you may ask, why do we have all these different modes? Well, some are due to different use cases, like the C mode made for drive-by systems that need very frequent transmissions, and some for historical reasons. Remember, the wireless MBUS standard was developed by people from the industry and from different companies, suggesting different solutions. 
when there was no consensus, the compromise was the different modes. But this makes up a larger toolbox for us to choose from, to select the best solution in any use case. Have a look at our next video, where we look into some use cases for these different modes. Hope this was useful to you. Please share with friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching and see you soon.